Hey Leos and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your bi-weekly love reading for the first two weeks of February. So let's tip you on down here so you can see your cards come out. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, and for those cross-watching our Leo friends, this message won't resonate with everybody. So please just take what fits and leave it. Don't, don't overthink it or try to make it fit. All right. <clears throat> Spirit Needles, what messages do we have for our Leo friends? Beautiful. First card out is Temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but more um, importantly, this is finding balance in your life. Again, coming back into connection with a soulmate or a twin flame, possibly. Let's see what other cards you have coming out with it. Where are our Leos now? I just heard ready for union. So you have been working hard to heal yourself. Prepare yourself for the next relationship after a broken heart of the past. Uh, beautiful. Thank you. I have been getting absolutely amazing readings today um, for everybody. This uh, energy shift, this push in endings and new beginnings is just absolutely, uh, absolutely amazing for the collective. Where is, or what's the overall outcome of the next two weeks for Leo's? All right, your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy with the person you're dealing with is the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Your guys' overall theme of the uh, reading and of the next two weeks is the Hermit. Beautiful. Um, just absolutely look at all this major arcana. Look at all these court cards. This is going to be a hell of a week for you, Leos. Holy cow. I'm just going to take a minute to get all these messages because I am like literally flooding with messages for you guys. Let's pick a clarifying deck here. Let's go with the Illuminati. I always get so many messages with these cards as well. Okay, so um, your guys' overall theme of the next two weeks is the Hermit. Going within, finding your inner light. Um, this card has been coming out so much for everybody. Um, now is a time to decide what you want the next 30-year cycle of your life to be. If, you, if it isn't what you want to be doing for the next 30 years, get rid of it because we are starting the beginning of a new cycle, especially for you, Leo, um, with the uh, eclipse in your sign. This is huge. Um, it's time to go within. Take the time to dig in deep, to find your inner light, to find your path and start, start uh, making moves to get in that direction. Um, start making goals, writing them down. Let the universe know what exactly you want to be doing with the next how many years of your life because you're being called spiritually to start walking your path. Your time is now um, and there's a big push for it. So really go within, figure out what it is that you want to do because you spiritually are going to be um, ascending to a higher level of consciousness, a higher level of knowing, um, with the help of the divine, your, uh, overall shared energy with, uh, the person you are dealing with, uh, the first card out was the King of Pentacles, finding stability again, finding your feet on solid ground. Some of you could have had financial issues in the past, but you're finally starting to get, uh, your feet back underneath you. You're starting to financially become more stable, um, you're wanting to find somebody to have a family with. You're ready to settle down. Um, for some of you, um, 
there is somebody that you need to uh, cut away from. This is taking action and cutting away from that Cut that rope off. It's not even tied on there. You're just think you're stuck. You're not purge and release. So you can step into this path that you're meant to take, Leos. It's time to take the blindfold off. It's time to uh, take that rope off and walk right out of there. It's time to cut the situation out of your life that is making you feel stuck, whether it be a job or person, a family member. It doesn't matter. You're not trapped here. You don't want to be trapped there forever. You want to be walking on your spiritual path in the next two weeks. So the time is now to get unstuck and you have what it takes to do it. You are going to be okay. You are going to be financially stable. You are going to have the family that you want, um, but you have to cut away from the situation that you feel stuck in. That's for males and females. It's going to be okay. I mean, look at your cards. This is amazing. Um, in the past, you're coming from a place of healing. You've taken a lot of time to go within and to work on your inner self. You've done a lot of hard work on healing from past, whether it be childhood hurts, last or hurts from past lifetimes. Bottom of the deck is the three of swords. You had to mend your broken heart and you've done an amazing job doing that. You are um, preparing yourself for a union. As I heard while I was shuffling, you are ready for union. So um, you're coming from this place of healing. You've been very patient. You've been patient with yourself, patient with uh, whoever it is that you are wanting to connect with. Why is temperance here for Leos? I haven't been clarifying the past card, but I'm curious. With it being such a major arcana, wow. Could you be dealing with a Sagittarius? Or another Leo like yourself? or an Aries. This is a strong, strong, passionate connection that the two, this is your twin. Um, it doesn't have to be another fire sign. It just means that there's a lot of passion here, but there is a, this is strong. This is very strong. If you think you are in the twin flame journey, you would know because this is a strong magnetic connection between the two of you. It is also somebody who hurt you in the past. It's somebody that you had to heal from that uh, that brought you some pain or you to them. But where you are now is you're standing in the glory of the truth. The divine has um, enlightened and uh, showed you things you needed to see. You are now standing in your own truth and you have the truth of the divine. The cloud has been lifted. The fog is no more and you are clearly, clearly in the right path. Uh, the, the divine is wakening both of you up. Um, they're moving you in a direction to come together. You guys know the truth. You know, the truth of the connection, you know, what you guys mean to each other. Um, and it was hard getting here because you had to purge and release. You had to go through this rebirth process. You had to go through the death and the rebuilding. And that's what you were doing in uh, in the past, you have now come through this. You have now come out of the dark night of the soul and you now know the truth of your spiritual, uh, path of where you're going, where you're meant to be. You're starting to see the truth of why this all had to happen. This hurt had to happen in order to push you into this death because without the pain of this relationship, you never would have found this dark place that needed to purge out all the, the dark, all your shadows, all your demons. You never would have gotten to this, to this um, place of death without this pain of this relationship pushing you there. And now you are coming to the truth and seeing it all on why it all had to happen. It's all part of the process. It's all part of the journey. It's all part of the ebb and flow of life, the ups and downs, the death, the life, the death, the rebirth. Three signs have had this card now. Major transformations for everybody. But this is the ebb and flow of life, the up and the down, the death, the rebirth. Um, and it's in the upright. So you have finished the death process. You have gone through this dark time. 
You are now seeing the truth of why it all had to happen. And now you are about to receive the upside of the wheel, the good fortune. Everything that you deserve um, is coming in your direction. This is also spirit's advice is uh, the wheel of fortune to take the ebb and flow of life with grace, to go with the flow, to not try to stop or not try to, uh, or not to get trapped in one place. You have to go with the flow. If you want to experience the wheel, you can't fight it. You can't stop it. It's time. It's just like time. No matter how much you don't want that minute to pass by, it's going to pass you by one second at a time, every time. So you have to learn to go, <clears throat> go with the flow of the universe. You can't, you have to let go of control. Um, gosh, yeah. <laughs> you have to let go of control. It's going to do many things. In order if the wheel is out of balance, it it won't turn right. So what it's is you can't keep it from turning, you can't control it. Because when you try to control it, it throws it out of balance. So just allow yourself to receive the blessing. Allow yourself to move forward. Allow yourself to purge. You have end cycles that need to be ended. To get out of this place of feeling trapped, you have to let go of control. But I promise you, when you do, this is going to bless you with so much beautiful blessings that you will wonder why you held on to this position for so long because um, amazing things are coming for you, Leos. Remember that, believe that, um, have faith in that because it's the happening. Okay. So um, in your outside influences, you have somebody that's coming in very quickly um, and they're going to tell you some truth. Uh, and it's going to help you cut yourself away and out of this situation. This uh, ace of, or this knight of swords is coming in and it is a blessing to you. Remain strong. Remember, you have control of this situation. Um, I don't feel they're coming in to tell you anything that you don't already, excuse me, that you don't already know. But this, they may come in in a abrupt manner. And just deliver the, the truth and leave again. But Leo, this is your card. And it came out in the upright. You have control of this situation. You already know. You've already gone through this process. They don't realize that you're not the same Leo that, that, that you used to be. They don't realize that you have um, purged all of that out. You could really give a shit less what this person has to say. So just take the higher road. Keep your head held high and keep moving forward because you have your divine partner coming in for you with the uh, affinity sign up above your head. You know that this person is returning to you. You know, <clears throat> excuse me, you know that this is eternal love. And you know that no matter what this person says, it's not going to stop that because you have the universe at your back and you have the divine on your side. And when the divine is on your side, there ain't nobody that has a chance against you. What is um, what is coming in for you is judgment, an aha moment, a second chance. You are getting rewarded a second chance at something that you have been hoping, wishing, and praying for um, with the divine or with the wheel as well. This is most definitely someone coming in for a second chance at love, and you have manifested this. This is of your creation, your making. You planted the seeds. You did the hard work. You did the healing. And you deserve this and everything that comes in with this relationship because this is a blessed union. Archangel Michael oversees all twin flames and soulmates and is in charge of putting the two of you back together. He is here to bless the union. Um, this is also Archangel Michael blessing with temperance. Um, so most definitely, 
most definitely you are winning in this uh, in this reading because you have done a lot of hard work. You have um, taken the time to do what needed to be done to manifest this from the spiritual into the material. Your partner is getting an aha moment. Your partner is getting awoken by the universe as well. And, um, and they will be manifested to you. Your overall outcome of the next two weeks is the queen of cups, unconditional love for your king, unconditional love for that person that you have been waiting for, that you have been working so hard on yourself, um, that you went through this death and rebirth, uh, but now you're seeing it wasn't for them. In the beginning, you were healing to bring them back. In the beginning, you were healing. You knew you had to heal because everyone told you you had to heal in order for them to come back. So you started this healing process in hopes that they would return. But now you're seeing it has nothing to do with them returning. You now realize that you healed for you. You healed so you could be a better version of yourself. You healed so you could... Um, find balance in your life again so that you could have a close connection with spirit and you're awakened to the truth of why it all had to happen. And that is such a blessing all in itself. So you are ending out the next two weeks with unconditional love for a partner and most importantly, unconditional love for yourself. Wow. It's being clarified by the union card. You are ready for union. I heard it in while I was shuffling in the very beginning. You are ready for union. The next card on the bottom of the deck, your, your soulmate, your, your divine partner is here for you. In the next two weeks, you will begin to build a new life with this person. You will be putting in the works to possibly find a new home, to work out this connection. Spirit said it. You are ready for union. The four of wands is, uh, is always my twin flame. Uh, um, the, the commitment of two twin flames, the union. There we go. I went blank for a minute. When it comes out with temperance and judgment. So most definitely... This is a twin flame soulmate connection that you have worked so hard for, but most importantly, you did all this for yourself to find self-love, to find um, the love of life again, to heal those hurts and to be able to move forward. And you did such a beautiful job. So beautiful. This, you have so many major arcana. I mean, look at that. Let me count. You have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. You have seven major arcana. That is crazy. Seven out of 12 cards, major arcana. This is a huge next two weeks for you, Leo. You guys are moving with this energy to... A most beautiful place you could think. You are ready for union. For this group of you, you are ready for union. Most definitely. All right. Let's get your three um, prediction cards for the next two weeks. Let me run them through my sage here for a second. All right. Much better. Spirit and angels, please bring me three cards for Leo's predictions in the next two weeks. What do you see happening for them? I could have swear I've seen one turn. Well, maybe not. Oh, I just seen it in there again. Where did it go? These cards are so close to... Maybe if I flip them this way. They're so close in color on both sides. It's kind of hard when they flip. There it is. The Six of Swords. This is, however, after they have gone 
through the rough waters after they have sailed. And now in the after tarot, you have finally made it to dry land. In the next two weeks, you have gotten to that place that the Six of Swords leads you to. You're stepping off the ship onto dry land and right where you're meant to be, right where you're supposed to be. And uh, that's awesome. You made it. You made it through the rough waters. You are. You made it through the smooth sailing and now you're on dry land. And now you are ready to begin building that foundation that needs to be built in order to start your new life. The hanged man. So you are um, more awoke than your twin flame. You started the healing process first. Now um, you will be asked to assist your twin in the remainder of their healing to help them get through this. You have made it through this far to the journey and now you are able to help them um, heal as well because they are enlightened as you see hanging there but they need your assistance. They need your nourishment. They need your love. They need your um, faith in them. And uh, they just need you to help guide them through as a, tw a divine feminine often does. Uh, they help the divine masculine get through that last stretch of the healing process. It's going to take some strength, but you got this, Leo. You got it. This is your card. You have tamed the beast. You have made it through the journey to this point. You've made it through the hard um, healing and you are there. You are there. You guys are ready for a union. Congratulations for this group of Leos. I have chills head to toe. I am so excited for you guys. Um, for this group of you, it's going to be an exciting February. So enjoy it. And uh, congratulations for all the hard work that you have done you have prepared. You deserve this. So I send you all healing, love, and light, and may God bless every step of your journey.